Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag for the week of January 9th. If this one isn't resonating so much, check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay, Sag. So we have a close connection here. So you're either dealing with this person still, like this relationship has had some ups and downs, maybe they've been kind of in your life, out of your life, or you're kind of not sure where the two of you stand right now. We've got this two of pentacles, which is wishy-washy behavior. It's sometimes weighing options or trying to figure out what to do. It can also be a card about having a lot of priorities, a lot of balls in the air, a lot of things to work on. We've got the two of cups in reverse. That is a very close connection to someone. By the way, that's not just strictly a romantic card. It means that you just have this bond with the person. They understand you in a way that no one else ever has. Um, and the eight of cups in reverse, which is trying to walk away from a connection, trying to emotionally distance yourself from someone, but being unable to do that ultimately because there's such a close connection here. So this is someone that you could have tried to walk away from, but it's difficult, or they've tried to walk away, but the emotional connection is still here. We've got the Knight of Swords. So typically this is a Gemini, but it can also be an Aquarius. It can also be a Libra. The person that you're dealing with may have uh, air in their moon or Venus. You might have that as well. Um, or they're embodying this energy. The Knight of Swords can be impulsive. Um, they don't have all the information. They haven't figured it out. They can be quick to kind of judge something or to run away or to not really handle a situation correctly. It's just a very impulsive energy. Okay, so let's take a closer look at your person and we'll see what's up. Okay, so far we have the Nine of Cups. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. I'm going to be using the Zodiac Tarot to clarify. Nine of Cups can be more of a focus on the self. Um, my own happiness, my own joy. It can be a bit of a selfish card. We all go through periods of selfishness. Um, at the end, I'm going to pull cards for how this person currently feels about you, as well as something that they need to say. So I do think your person is maybe more focused on themselves at the moment, or maybe they're more of a taker than a giver. We'll see what else comes out here. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which is interesting, and the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is, I need to gather up my thoughts, I need to figure some things out, um, I'm in my own head here. I think this person is doing some thinking about this connection. Um, thinking about the long-term potential here with the Ten of Pentacles. I think this is someone who sees a lot of potential in this connection. I think they have a lot of feelings for you. They think that this could be a marriage, that they could settle down with you, perhaps be here for decades. Maybe they're struggling with themselves and their own happiness and okay we've got the moon as well um this could be someone who's trying to focus on what it would be like to be a we instead of a me this could be someone who's been single for quite a while or they haven't had a connection like this before or it's just overwhelming the moon is Cancer and Pisces energy, so this person could have some water in their chart. That could be a water sign. You could have some water here. The moon ultimately is like our shadow selves, our worries, our fears, our secrets, um, things that we don't like to deal with necessarily. I would say that this person maybe 
is fearing commitment here or fears love and yet feels love as well. And we've got the star, major for Aquarius. Uh, one or both of you could have some Aquarius in your chart. The star is being wishful or hopeful or optimistic. This is also a healing card. I wonder if this person is on a healing journey. They're trying to work on themselves, maybe. They could have had a bad relationship. Um, they could have come from a family of origin where there was divorce or abuse or pain. Or And we've got the Knight of Wands. Hold on. So the Knight of Wands is you. It's specifically Sagittarius. So I would say that you're on their mind, you're in their thoughts. Um, they could also have some Sag in their chart. I think it's interesting that you're both showing up as knights. And if this person is in a Gemini and, well, we know that you're a Sagittarius, um, you may want to look at that. Like maybe they're struggling with bringing that king or queen energy. Ideally, you want to be with a king or a queen. They're just more steady and more reliable. The knights tend to be less reliable. But they do pursue you. They do go after things here. Let's see what's going on with this person. All right. We have the sun. It's possible that this person is a Leo or an Aries or they have that in their chart. The sun is Leo energy. It's clarity. Uh, looking at what makes them happy, what brings them joy. Three of Pentacles. I think they're getting ready to have a conversation with you. Um, this person sees real potential here. They value this connection. I think there's a lot of emotion here. I do think there's some fear. I do think they're probably getting ready or gearing up to talk with you about that. The Fool in Reverse, Major for Aries. This is someone who's trying to get their courage together. They may be afraid. Um, the fool in the upright is very like intrepid energy. Like, let's do this. Let's go. In the reverse, I'm worried about being made a fool of. I'm feeling foolish. I have some fear, which is normal. I think we all have some fears when it comes to things like that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. That's a desire to work on something. It's like this person is slowly working up to that Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Three here. We've got the Eight. They're building towards that very long-term connection here. There we go. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo specifically, but also Capricorn, also Taurus. I would say the Knight of Pentacles is much more reliable than either the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords. This is someone planning um, like coming up with a plan, working on this. Again, there's a lot of investment here in this connection. I would say that this person is taking a look at the long term and they see this as a long term possibility. If they can overcome their fear, uh, overcome their worries. See, lovers, Gemini energy. You could very well be dealing with a Gemini here. And we've got the Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups is a card of the past. It's thinking about what might have been, what could have been. It's Scorpio energy. Um, this person may have some stuff in their past to tell you. They want to let go of the past. Maybe let go of things, regrets, sadness, things that are holding them back. Again, I would say that this person's on a healing journey. The star is a very healing card. Four of Swords is as well. All right. Let's do a card for feelings as well as something that they're thinking. How does this person currently feel about you? Got the Eight of Wands. That's passion, excitement. Uh, this is also a need to take action here to do something about a situation. You can have some communication coming in from this person somewhat rapidly here with the Eight of Wands. This is also a relationship that could have started very fast. What is something that they're thinking? Okay. 
I'm going to be more than friends. You may have a friendship with this person. You may um, have pushed this person a little bit back until they figure some stuff out. This is also generally I want more from a situation. I hope you're happy. I love you. This person has deep feelings here. I never used to look at you that way. I think that they've gotten, their feelings for you have deepened and I do think it scares them a little bit. Um, they do definitely have some fear here, but they're gonna do something about it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. If you would like the extended click the join button, we're going to do feelings, intentions, the unknown, and some advice. All right, blessed be.